You know, it's pretty typical around the Christmas season to focus on the birth of Christ, and that's fine. The, the incarnation of the Son of God into human form coming into the world is, is absolutely the miracle of all miracles, the most, the most incredible reality in, in all of redemptive history. God becomes a man. But beyond that, you've got to get past the birth narrative to the reality of, of his life, and then his death, and then his resurrection, and then his ascension, and then his intercession, and then his exaltation. You, you don't read the biography of some famous person and just read the chapter on the birth, close the book, and feel like you knew the person. You don't know the person that was born until you've gone all the way to the end and to the death of the person. Every biography finds its final power in the demise or the death or the end of that life, whether for good or bad. In the person of Jesus Christ, the Christmas is just the beginning. It's the glorious ending, his sacrificial substitutionary death and resurrection and ascension and coronation that is the end of the story. And, and I hope every Christmas when we introduce the birth of Christ, we set people on a course all the way to the exaltation of Christ and even to becoming their own personal Lord and Savior.